What's going on YouTube? Chris Ola is back with another video on the channel and today we've got the Brentford versus Arsenal match preview. The match is away. Unfortunately, I still haven't been able to make my match reviews. One day I will get into the habit and have a proper schedule of being able to sort out my match reviews after the match, uploading them in ample time. But so much has been going on. I'm in the office now. My schedule is starting to fall into place, which I'm very happy with. The Queen, of course, has passed away. RIP Queen Elizabeth II. So games are postponed and, you know, everything is all up in the air. But I feel like in terms of football, things are starting to settle down a little bit. And yeah, we're playing Brentford in 36 minutes, which I'm very, very excited for. Brentford are a good team. They're not on the best of form and we're in much better form. But we need to play well to beat them. We don't. We can't just turn up. They're not a Leicester City where you can just play them and no matter how you play, you're going to win. Brentford are a good team. So we'll look at Brentford's... We'll look at the lineups. We may as well look at the lineups because the game is about to... The game is in less than an hour. So they're playing a 4-3-3, which is quite interesting. David Raya, very good goalkeeper. Rika Henry, got pace. Ben Mee, not the fastest and not a high line... Um, centre back, he's more of a you know inbox centre back, but he's he's still good, very good leader at the back. Christoph Ayer, decent on the ball, decent. Aaron Hickey, um, Ambi Pedal, very very good signing for them. Potis Janssen, haven't got much to say on him, but he's decent. Yano, you know, they, like their team is decent. Joshua De Silva's got pace. Ivan Tony, I rate him very very highly. He's a very very good football, technically gifted, very physical, can do a number of roles that you need your striker to to do. You know, deep line forward, um, advance forward, false nine. He's 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 a good outlet. He's a very, very good striker and a very good test for any centre back in the Premier League. And Mbembo again got lots of pace. Um I don't know much to say about him, but we'll talk about the Arsenal lineup. Aaron Ramsdale and goal. No brainer. Less moments of erraticism please and his shot stopping Ah, I don't want to harp on it too much. I don't want to talk about it too much. It is a minor issue, but if we play our best football, it won't be an issue, if that makes sense. Because um, the ideal the ideal game um, game path or the ideal game for Arsenal is where we're dominating the ball, controlling the ball, and, and Ramsdale is having to save no shots. But when he is called upon, he needs to start performing. Distribution... We don't need to talk about that. Clip passes to the fullbacks and long range distribution is good. Kieran Tierney and Benjamin White as our fullbacks. Ben White, like I'm I'm happy with him. He is one of the players that can play any position and you're just happy with. Obviously it'd be stupid for him to play up front at striker, but if Mikel were to play in there, but you wouldn't complain because he always does his job. Kieran Tierney, um unhappy that Zinchenko's not starting, but satisfied that you know we've got a good backup in Kieran Tierney it's a bit dodgy that we've got two injury prone left backs but Kieran Tierney I'm sure will be fine Brentford they do press well but Brentford also don't they know that they don't want to be too high it's a tough one I'm sure Thomas Frank has sorted their team out but if Brentford are too high we can exploit them if Brentford don't press Tierney then Tierney's comfortable William Sleeper and Miguelas um, calm like there's not much to say about them I'm happy with them both Gabriel less moments of erraticism please you know Ivan Tony is a tough test and he will linger around you and you might be the pressing trigger just because you're the least comfortable on the ball out of the two but I trust him Fabio Vieira and Granit Xhaka as the interiors with Partey as our um, single pivot player Partey's back hopefully he doesn't you know fall down because he's got a reoccurring muscle injury and he's quite injury prone. We haven't got many DMs. We've literally only got one because Lokonga is not a DM. But more uh, risk averse decisions. Please just chill with, you know, the trying to break the lines every, you know, every opportunity. We've already got Fabio Vieira who's going to be tasked with doing that, who is going to be the more risk tolerant player. So control and, yeah, just, you know, cover those spaces because. We should expect to dominate possession and try and sustain pressure. So we don't want to get hit on the counter attack. That's how we lost against United because the spaces behind our single pivot 
they were too big and our center backs were just you know they made mistakes because they had to there was too much space and you know but yeah Granit Xhaka and Fabio I expect them to have good performances um full debut for Fabio Vieira just show us what you're made of bro show us what you're made of he's given us glimpses and he's an exciting player so yeah I can't wait for him to play Saka and Nelly outside of Jesus again there's not much to say about them just keep doing what you're doing Saka he gets the better of 99% of left backs in the Premier League like he is going to beat you one-on-one -on -one just because he's faster, he's stronger than you. And he is confident enough to think in his head that, yeah, I know I'm going to get the better of you. It's just that end product, that final ball. More often than not, his final ball is good. We just need Martinelli, Jesus, Xhaka, even Vieira to stick it in the back of the net. Same for Nelly. Like, he can be deemed as predictable, but, you know, more often than not, he's going to cook the fullback. He's going to get the better of the right back. And Hickey will be a good test. Hickey, I think he's quite athletic um, in terms of pace, but Nelly is, should just be more physical than him. Hickey's got like quite a small frame. So, Nelly, go on. like Just show us what you're made of. And Jesus, you know, it's away from home. Um, he's had very good away from home performances. Palace, without a goal. Um, Bournemouth, good performance without a goal. Um, even No, even United, he played very well. Just didn't get the goal. Obviously, I don't want to compromise um, how well he plays and his net positive um, impact on the team, but a goal would be so good. Like It would be good for him to get a goal away from home. And, of course, you don't want to cap your good performances by playing well, affecting the game without the ball. You need that goal as well as a striker. So go and show us that you are capable because... You know, I've seen a lot of rubbish. Oh, Son. Son gave him a four-game head start, blah, blah, blah. It's just noise. Jesus, we know what he's on. And a goal today would be amazing. So, that's our lineup. Key battles, I feel like for us, are, okay, key battles on their side. Um, Ivan Tony versus our centre-backs. It'll probably be Gabriel because Gabriel is the lesser of the two. It'll be interesting to see how they react to Tierney. I see our weak points as, you know, Gabriel, Tierney, maybe Ramsdale. If you press him, you might get an opportunity. Um, ben White's not a natural fullback, but um, he's been co he's coped with Zaha, so I don't see him as a weak point. Uh, maybe Party and Jack's immobility. Like, I'm really, really being pernickety, being meticulous. They're not really going to be the key deals, I guess. Like, I guess the biggest deal will be Gabriel versus Tony. And if we can silence Tony, we stifle a lot of their you know, their, their play, their game plan. As for us, you know, Vieira, seeing how he reacts or how he acts in this half space, uh, yeah, half space here. Um, I mean, Saka, Saka Nelly, our fullbacks, our wingers versus their fullbacks, it will always be a good deal. But they've matched us, they've matched our formation, which is pretty interesting. I don't recall a team ever matching our formation um, when they didn't actually play that formation. I mean, I don't watch much Brentford, but I'm pretty sure they played five at the back. Um, let me check here. Yeah, they played five there. Um, they, ah, they played four for three. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie and say I watch a lot of Brentford. So, you know, maybe they identified that United, they can hit on the counter. Yeah, so if, I guess four for three is their formation. So, um, let me take that one back. I just don't watch enough Brentford. Um, just because I watch Arsenal. But yeah, no, hopefully we pack him in. I'm very excited for the game and I'll see you guys after the game, whether it be a match preview for Arsenal versus Spurs or a match review on this game. 